Hey everybody, welcome back to J Bob and Sons. Today I'm opening up 1985 Tops Rack Packs. I picked these up as a set of four. I've opened one already during my live stream that we had a couple weeks ago. And I opened up these, uh, the box of these that I got in the mail on one of my mail day videos not that long ago either. So today I'm going to open up the rest of them. They are in pristine condition. Um, you know, they're, they're beautiful. And in retrospect, maybe I should have kept some of these in here, but I can't help myself. I got a rip. So I'm going to open up all of these. Um, it's a kind of a bittersweet pull. You'll see at the end what I mean, but definitely hit one of the cards off my bucket list of cards I'd like to pull. So first off, we got a Bill Alman uh, uh, draft pick card. We got Gary Ward, Dennis Boyd, Tom Waddell. Nice card. Thad Bosley, Jamie Esterly. And then when what's the deal with these rack packs is there's the gum. So these definitely have been sitting around since 1985. Got a nice Reggie Jackson Hall of Famer. Unfortunately, it's got the wax stain. So that's kind of the theme of this video. It's pretty awesome picking these up and ripping them open, but kind of a bummer when the gum ruins the card that you're after. This is a really nice Cal Ripken Jr. the card. Um, the centering is definitely off and it looks like there's a stain on it, but it's uh, it's a great card and happy to happy to have pulled that. So um, I wasn't actually expecting the gum when I uh, first opened this, when I opened the first one of these uh, grocery packs or rack packs rather. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, uh, but Still, still good cards. These father and son cards are pretty off, awesome. The um, Bruce Sutter Hall of Famer, nice uh, all-star card there. Uh, there is. So you got to get through the gum, and the thing about these is the gum kind of goes through a couple cards, and um, that's kind of a bummer. So R.G. Reynolds and Bud Black got the gum, and it definitely leaves a mark on those. So uh, Alex Trevino, Mickey Rivers. Buddy Bill, Daryl Porter, and Milt Wilcox. So I hope you're enjoying the video. Um, we just, uh, as I'm recording this, um, you know, I am, oh, there's a nice Carlton Fisk, the record breaker, Hall of Famer. Good card there. Glenn Wilson. And this is one of my favorite cards for the pull, this Cal Ripken Jr. All-Star card. Um, actually okay centering on the front um, not perfect but it's one of the cards that I'm sort of contemplating I'm getting a stack of vintage cards from all these breaks um, and I'm just you know I don't think any of them are going to be 10s but um, I'd be happy with 9s or even 8s on some of these and you know they'll off, most of them will actually just go into my personal collection but it might be kind of neat to see um, what these could be valued if they get um, if any of them get like a good score so we'll see but certainly not any of the gum cards um, and every and every one of these little cello packs in here has got a stick of gum in there and it's just been sitting in there since 1985 and some of them are pretty rough shape as you can see so far but I appreciate you guys watching uh, the channel is growing uh, we we are on our way to surpassing 200 subscribers and so we're really excited about that um, couple cards looked like this in these packs totally cut wrong um, you see the cut there is way off um, you know I don't think that that makes a card any that may or may not I mean it depends on the player if it's a Hall of Fame player that might make it maybe like an error card maybe more valuable so here's a Frank Viola so I'll have to, I'll have to look that up um, so it's Frank Viola all-star card but but you know it doesn't matter because that's the gum card um, it's destroyed. <laughs> um, got a Fred Lynn um, with gum all over it. <clears throat> Bo Diaz right here. One of my favorite players for some reason. I remember just really being interested in Bo Diaz and collecting him. Um, Fernando Valenzuela as well. Um, I don't think, yeah, Fernando Valenzuela is not in the Hall of Fame, but um, definitely one of the players I, I, I remember. Um, so, yeah, we're really excited. The channel's growing. We should probably be, we will probably be past 200 soon, and so that's pretty exciting. Probably do like another giveaway to celebrate that. So stay tuned um, for that. So Don Slot, Kurt, 
can't say that there. Gary Matthews, Bob Horner, draft pick. And here's another, some of these, these two cards in this Bob Lillis manager card are just totally miscuts. So quality control, 1985 tops, not so much. Yeah. Um, and then we got Doug Baker. Uh, so some gum stuck to it. Nice. And Tony Armas, gum all over him. We got we got Floyd uh, Rayford, Danny Heap, Steve Trout, Storm Davis, Rance Mullins, and Harold Baines. Harold Baines is a Hall of Famer. So nice card there. All right. So some more solo action here. Tony Scott, Ray Fontaine, sorry, Thad Bosley. Butchering some of the names here. Uh, Tim Lawler. Father, another father son card. I think we got that one already. Tom Tellman. This is another miscut. Totally cut wrong. Uh, also the gum card. Let's see. We got Dave Engel. And then nice Don Mattingly, but it's got some gum on it. So uh, really bittersweet packs. These packs, um, all my cards noteworthy a lot of the noteworthy not all of them but most of the noteworthy cards had the gum stain it's kind of a bummer uh brett butler and we'll finish out with terry whitfield tom nito dan parrot tree mike steinhouse all right here we come up on the last rack pack and then the three more cellos and you're going to see kind of something that, um, you know, I didn't catch at the, the original recording, um, but I slowed it down to show you, show you the biggest hit of the, of the, of the rip, um, the biggest bittersweet uh, hit. So I'm looking for these cards, right? Um, Mark McGuire rookie card is the 1984 USA baseball team card in this set. Um, that's the card I was hoping to pull, and that's the reason why I bought these. John McNamara, manager. Um, so that's what I've been looking for. That's what, you know, I was looking for in the, in, the, in these packs. And, um, again, uh, we got a couple more solo packs to go. We got the Dave Lopes, you know, check this gum out, man. It's so old and crusty. A lot of the vintage wax packs I've ripped so far, um, you know, the gum has been really kind of crispy and clean looking, like almost you'd want to eat it, but not these packs. Unfortunately, these must've gotten a lot of moisture in their day. Um, and so... The gum just is not looking so good. Um, so I'll finish off with Doyle Alexander and Lee Tunnel. Okay. So this is the pack we need to keep our eye on. Um, we're going to uh, see something here, which is ex super exciting. And it's it's the Big Mac hit. Okay, we got Dave Schmidt. Boom. Ah, just kidding. That's not. That's John, John Hoover. Um, this Tim Belcher is actually pretty cool. Tim Belcher, rookie card, draft pick. So I'll set that one aside. Um, uh, and then there he is, Ozzy Smith. Nice card, right? And then, oh, so originally I didn't see <laughs> gum card. And then you can see there, Mark McGuire. So we got the Mark McGuire, number 401, rookie card. I totally missed it. It was completely stuck to the back of Ozzy Smith. And so I just kind of didn't even see it originally. So Ozzy Smith just sat back there, peeled the gum off of Mike Mason, and just continued on. And when I got done with the rip, I was sort of sad. I'm like, ah, well, I guess I didn't get the Mark McGuire this time and contemplating, you know, oh, maybe I'll have to pick up some more of these so I can finally pull one of the biggest players um, of my generation, um, especially when I was uh, younger and collecting. Mark McGuire is huge. So uh, I had the one last solo hoping for it. So Ken Phillips. Juan Agosto, Tommy Dunbar, Sparky Anderson, and we got Whitey Herzog, gum card, goes through two cards, unfortunately for me, and got the Donnie Moore with gum all over, and Britt Burns will finish off with another Jim Clancy, I've pulled Jim Clancy before, it's a good card, Frank Tanana, Chet Lemon, and I got a nice Daryl Strawberry, actually. So this is one I think I'm going to go get graded for sure. So I'll save that one up later. 
All right, so after I'm going ahead and sleeving up these cards, I'm finding all the cards I want to sleeve up. So I got the, some of the All-Stars, the Ripkins, Don Manley, and then when I'm sleeving the Ozzy Smith, that's where I found, hello, <laughs> it's Mark McGuire rookie card. So, you know, I pulled it, it's, it's mine, it's the gum stain card, unfortunately for me. But you know what? It's all mine. I, I, I pulled Mark McGuire rookie card. Um, obviously, I'm not going to get it graded. I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, but it's super fun to have it. Um, and it was hiding behind Ozzy Smith. So, Ozzy Smith and Mark McGuire are buddies in this rip. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And we'll see you on the next one.